Okay, today we're going to do a tutorial on using the Filmic Pro app on the iPhone uh, with iMovie for editing. So one of the things about the Filmic app is that it shoots 24 frames per second and it gives you a cinematic quality to your videos much like the, the movies. So you get depth of field in your ver video versus photos which can be kind of flat. So let's cl click on the Filmic Pro app. Uh, I'm just going to shoot a quick clip and just I'm going to tap on the in the lower right uh, the circle with the white dot in it and I'm just shooting the quick video and I'm going to stop that there now I'm going to click on the button that looks like a like a film strip and that's going to go to my the videos I shot see to edit the video in iMovie, you need to bring it into your camera roll. So I'm just going to double tap, click on the forward facing arrow, and just put it to the camera roll. Or copy to clip to the camera roll. Uh, so now I'm going to go into iMovie. And, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I want to start a new project, so I'm going to click on the plus sign, click new project, and I'm going to add media. So this is the one I just shot, double, double tap. Uh, I'm going to add one more piece of video. It's, uh, it's from the class yesterday. So now I've got two pieces of video. So. Anyway, uh, so what I want to do is I want to be able to add some music. I want an intro clip. Uh, so I want my intro clip to be in the beginning. So I tap on the uh, video and then run your finger straight down whoop, the pink line and that'll split the clip. So then I'm going to tap on this clip and I want to put in a title style. And I'm going to do the middle and just tap on that uh, dotted line. I'm going to just type in, I don't know, test intro clip. And done. So now when I play it, you'll see a little intro clip come across the screen. There it is. And <clears throat> it's going to transition now to the next clip. Uh, I want to do an outro clip. So I'm going to double tap, run my finger down the line. And I can double tap on the end piece here, title style. Clicking on middle. Oop. Actually, what did I just click? Title style. I'll do middle. Oop. Double tap. Sorry. Click on the dotted lines. Just put ending. Or whatever you want to say. It could be your name, phone number, you know, if it's a house video. All right. So now we play it. There's the intro. Probably want to do a little transition here. I like a second, although because it's the same clip, you may not notice a transition. Like, but if they were different clips, oh, yeah, there we go. So same thing here. Just everything's double tapping. I like a second for my cross dissolves. And now we need some, I think we should have some music. So right now I'm on video, let's go to audio and theme music. Let's just pick out 
Oh, I don't know. Playful. So now... Got some music. And just... This is a quick one. Alright, so say I want to add some audio. I'm just going to go to record audio. I want it to start right where that where the, the playhead is. That's the that's the pink line. I'm just going to click on record audio. This is the class I taught yesterday. Stop. Accept. So now it'll... This is the class I taught yesterday. This is a quick one. Uh, you can also, on what the voice recording I just taped, I can tap on it, and I can move it. So if it's not quite in the spot I need it, I can move it around. Um, so now it's, you know, you got I mean, for just using your iPhone, you got a pretty cool way to get a nice looking video up quickly. class I taught yesterday. Uh, the other thing I like to do is if you go into settings, uh, you can do fade in and fade out from black. So it'll watch it fade in. Which I think is kind of nice. Let's just fast forward to the end. So I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, when you're done, to get it into YouTube, click on projects and click on the forward, looks like a little mail with a forward facing arrow, and just select YouTube and you can just upload it. Now I don't, uh, I don't fill much out in here, it's just easier to type it out from my laptop versus on the iPhone, but I think you get the point. Also, when you're shooting video, with your iPhone, you really need to have it on a tripod. It's just going to be too shaky. People don't like to watch it. So there's a there's a uh, a thing on Amazon called a Glyph, which you can get. So I recommend you know that for your project. I think they're about twenty dollars. So anyway. anyway.